next thing that uh, it is changing, and this has come across in some of the other talks today as well, is that also the internet is experienced differently uh, with the use of mobile phones. You've seen that in the video um, early on, people are on their phone all the times, but these sessions are more fractured, more spread out through the day, and tend to be shorter. That's why in Google we call them micro moments. And I've been talking about micro moments at Focus right in Fort Lauderdale in November. <coughs> Uh, so I don't want to go into too much detail because that talk is available online, but I want to give you an update on some recent numbers that we have cha seen change since the focus right talk. Uh, we have seen a further explosion in mobile searches in just the last six months, since November. Uh, the travel-related queries on Google have continued to grow rapidly, 40% in six months. And if you look across uh, travel-related sites, uh, we saw, see now that they have passed 40% of the traffic and more um, is coming from mobile devices. This is quickly going to 50, 60, 70, 80%. Uh, at the same time, sessions become shorter and shorter. That's because they're fractured. People spend time on their mobile when they're in the queue at the supermarket or uh, at the airport uh, or during a commercial break on TV and these sessions tend to be shorter and shorter. If the checkout process, the purchase process is smooth enough frictionless enough, users are actually willing to convert on their mobile devices. Uh, and we've seen in just the last six months, uh, mobile conversion rates across the board in travel uh, by about 10%. So we've said this many times before, but it's an important message to repeat and repeat. In this world of changing user expectations and changing user behavior in this world of mobile, it's no longer sufficient for Google to be just providing 10 blue links and a bunch of text. That's why we've been, for the last couple of years, evolving Google towards being an assistant for our users, that is providing our users with the answers to the questions that they're seeking, sometimes even asking, answering the questions before they even ask it, and sending our users to the right partner to convert there in those shorter and shorter moments. Um, and with that in mind, I want to walk you through our existing products and give you some updates and then introduce a new product. I want to start with destinations on Google. In uh, Focusrite, uh, in November, we've introduced the product, uh, we've shown him it to you and given you a preview of it, and at ITB in March this year, we've officially launched this product. It's called Destinations on Google. You can trigger it in Google search if you search, for example, for Europe um, destinations. It's an upper funnel product that allows users to snack content, destination content, and easily compare different destinations and figure out whether traveling there is within their traveling budget or not, and when to travel there. Um, the, I don't want to walk you through the whole product because I've done that at the last focus right, um, but the product has been very successful. We now have actual users using it. Uh, so we've observed actual user, user engagement with the product, and we see a lot of engagement on, especially on the more visual content uh, that's in the travel guide, like the images, for example, at the top, or the video content we have featured towards the, uh, the bottom of the page get a very, very high engagement from our users. Um, also, what gets a surprising and even larger amount of engagement than we anticipated is the click on what we call other places to explore, which you can see on the right-hand side here. So from a destination like Paris here, you can explore other related destinations like Nice, Marseille, Bordeaux, and so on. Uh, now, this is seeing a large amount of click confirming our, first of all, confirming that this is an upper funnel product built for users uh, that are still flexible in their destination and that it's doing a good job in allowing users to quickly snack and explore different destinations. Uh, some of the other elements that we've built, we're optimizing still, but by and large, we're very proud about the product. It has been received well by our partners, by our users, and by the press. And out of the many good press quotes that we got, this is very clearly my favorite quote. Uh, if you're building a travel product and you get a favorable comparison to Candy Crush, like what, what, what more can you? So, um, but I'm an engineer, and as an engineer, I simply can't pass on the opportunity of um, 